Well, welcome to our retreat. This is the night before introduction. And so as a number of you I'm sure are familiar with, we began doing these retreats during COVID and I believe we've done them every year since, or maybe it was one year where we didn't do one for whatever reason, um, but this is one of the positive things to come from that. And there's a lot of different ways in which you can approach a retreat, different ways in which a parish can approach a retreat. But what I do like about this style, while of course does have some drawbacks by doing it via video, is that it makes it much more adaptable to you, to your family, to your circumstances in life, and just adjust to the things that we have going on. So the first thing I want to encourage you to do is to the best of your ability, try to make this time quiet, to make it as silent as we can if we still are going to work, which I'm sure many of us have to do. Maybe trying to keep the radio off in the car, try not to turn the TV on too much um, in the evening, minimize our screen time, just trying to set as much time aside for God as we can. But having said that, adapt it as you need to. And you know, with kids, you might need to do certain things. You, of course, might have some games. And so if we need to, you can stretch out this retreat, just making it a few days here, a few days there, draw it out for a couple of weeks. Not like these emails are going to be deleted. It's not going to be some big spy thing. You have 24 hours and then it self-destructs. You've got this to sit with you. And so if you do need to draw it out, then do it. Whatever works best for, again, you and your family. If just watching one of these videos a day is best for you, do it over two weeks. Find what works. The most important thing is finding this time to sit with our Lord. So the first thing I want to do is affirm you in whatever you need to do to make this successful for you. Uh, the second thing I want to say is just what's the idea of a retreat? It's stepping away from our life, trying to encounter God. And one of the ways that we can define prayer, the church has a lot of different definitions. You can define it as friendship, as conversation. But one that really sticks out to me, and one that I kind of want to drive home as maybe a, a main theme of our thinking this week, is just lifting up our heart, our minds to God. Because this is what allows us to pray without ceasing, is we're able to lift ourselves up as we're doing things, as we're, we're at work, as we're checking out the grocery store. We can have our mind elevated just by seeing, you know, a mother talking with her child or calming her child, being that soothing um, person for her child, for his child, might be an opportunity to be reminded of God's love for us, his comfort for us, just a little lifting up of our mind. We may not fully develop that thought in our mind and our heart, but just that little gratitude we have is a type of prayer. If we're a person that keeps ourselves connected to the Holy Spirit, keep ourselves connected to our Lord. And so what I want to encourage you is you're going through whatever you have to continue to do this week, unless you're one of the very few people that was able to take off this week and block it off as a complete time of retreat, is to find those little moments to elevate ourselves. I'm going to be proposing many things for our reflection and just maybe having them playing through the back of our mind as we're driving, as we're doing the things at work, just sort of in the background, allowing God to let the Spirit sort of move us. And paying attention to those little gestures, those little nudges that God gives us is a beautiful way to encounter his life, his love for us, and to allow this to be a time fruitful however we need to enter into these beautiful days. And then lastly, I just want to encourage you to pray for one another. Uh, pray for me as I'm starting to record these. I do not have all of these talks prepared. Uh, one of the ways in which I know that I can work is just to start letting God do his work as I open up my mouth and start speaking with a few ideas before me. And so I've got a few of the talks roughly outlined, but I don't know where I'm going yet. I don't know where the Spirit's going to move us. So pray for me. Pray for one another um, that God is able to make this time fruitful and beneficial. And as best you're able to maybe try to come to the church, spend some time in prayer with our Lord, or even just maybe driving by a little bit out of our way to just be near our Lord, even for a brief moment. It's little things we can do this week to keep ourselves close to the Lord. Um, I hope this is a fruitful time. God bless. Mm -hmm.